Alright guys, today I'm going to be running you through the process of getting a wheel stud changed on my grandfather's, I don't even know what year it is, 02, 2000, uh, Grand Marquis. It's on the front, so it should be a little bit easier, and uh, let's just get into it. We're going to jack up the car, take the wheel off, not too, too difficult to do that, and then we'll get and dive right in. All right, so now that we got the car jacked up, the wheel off, we're gonna start by taking off the brakes. So what needs to be taken off is the caliper assembly and bracket and the rotor that we can access the hub and get to exactly where the lugs here bolt on. So the caliper and the caliper bracket need to be removed, the rotor needs to be removed, and here is the stud that we're replacing. As you can see, there's a lot of shiny part here. That is actually from where it was stripped, cross started, put on. When we took it off, we were actually going to put winter tires on. Uh, when we took it off, we noticed that this stud was completely destroyed. So we got a new stud and a new wheel nut right there. So to get the caliper and bracket off, we're gonna try and take it off in one assembly. So take the bracket off and then the caliper will bolt that bolts to this will just come off together. So they're 18 mil. We've got the top one cracked. We have to crack the bottom. It looks like we need a shallow socket to access the bolts. It's a little bit tighter. It's probably a little bit easier to take the caliper off uh, first and then the bracket, but then you gotta do two steps. You gotta take the caliper off, then the bracket. So we're gonna try and do it all in one step if possible. We got the caliper bracket off, as you can see, which exposed just the hub. We're gonna hit it out where this little curve is, that way it gives us the most room back behind for it to push out, push that way. Um, and it's really as simple as that. We're just gonna use a hammer, um, see if we have a punch so we don't mangle the front of this so it doesn't mushroom and then get stuck going through the hole. But uh, you just wanna hit it out that way and then we'll move into reinstallation. But uh, we ended up getting the caliper and bracket off in one piece, and we just have it sitting up there out of the way. We don't have the caliper completely um, removed because we want the line, the flex line, to still be connected because we don't want to have to bleed the brakes and lose fluid and all that jazz. So we just have it up and out of the way for now. Very simple process. Then to reinstall, you want to just line this up, and we are going to pull it through this way. And I'll show you how in a second. All right, we're going to install this now. We have a bunch of washers that fit over the studs, like so. So we're going to make a little bit of a spacer, and then we're going to put a nut on, our lug on, and then we're going to tighten it pulling it through, seating the actual stud into the hub. Now, when you're doing this, you want to make sure that once you're done, that you check behind here and make sure that it's fully seated and fully touching. So, you don't have to use all these. We have a big stack. You want to use maybe one more on top of there. You want to make sure that you actually can start this by a couple threads at least. All right, so after we got this fully pressed in using the washer method, now this isn't the 100% way to be doing this. Um, there is a tool for this, a stud installer. Um, we don't have that, so the washer is, washers is like the next best thing. But since this isn't specifically designed for this, we are gonna be using a die here just to go over the threads and make sure nothing was damaged or, or just make sure everything is aligned properly just in case. Um, it was affected by using this method. So this is a half inch by 20 die, um, and that's the thread pitch of these studs. So we're just gonna quickly go through um, by hand, and it should be good to go. Just make sure, you use some WD-40, and go all the way down, and you should be good to go. So we chased the thread, tested it with the new lug, and we're good. Now we just gotta put everything back on, 
put the rotor on, put the caliper assembly back on, put the wheel on, tighten everything up, and then torque the wheel to spec. And that is literally it. And you would follow the exact same steps through all the other studs if you wanted to change all the other ones. All right, that's a wrap on this video. If you guys have any questions, put it down in the comments. This is a very easy thing that you guys can do at home. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out and stay classy, crew.